the first problem that we identified, and it's, it's, it's something that still um, continues to persist, that the work, like workplaces for the most part, whether it's a big company or a startup, is still um, a challenging environment for professional women. So is there a space? And we, you, we talked about space as like physical and virtual space. Is there a space that we can create to support women? Because oftentimes these environments cultivate um, competition, toxic culture, uh, women come and filter, you know, what they say, they can't bring their true self. So is there a space that we can create that's safe and comfortable for women to come together and talk through these challenges, support one another, thrive with more ease and less hustle is really what we're getting at. And our initial focus groups and surveys, um, we, we wanted to do pie in the sky stuff. So we had posted sessions similar to our ones at VFA and some of the fun ones were, you know, one of the questions would be, what do you think that a physical space designed for women needs to have? And we had one that one woman who was convinced that, and, you know, pre-pandemic at the time, we were all wearing heels and, um, you know, dressing up and looking our best. And she said that once you walk in, you have to take off your heels and then like the floors will feel like pillows <laughs> because we, <laughs> we have to, you know, conform ourselves into to what society, you know, deems as appropriate business casual or, or workwear. Um, so <laughs> we had some fun with that. And, you know, I think everyone understood when we were like, okay, realistically, we don't have a budget for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, you we were able to- You don't have padded floors throughout, <laughs> it's like trampoline style. Right, right. <laughs> um, but yeah, we were able to do other things where we took into account typical things like, you know, to this day in 2022, the vast majority of physical environments are still designed with men in mind, everything from office temperatures, um, they basically gauge that um, based on like a male um, body um, and body temperature. I read somewhere like as late as 2008 or something, some of the prescription uh, medications instructions were updated because women were actively overdosing again because they were mainly um, writing the instructions and directions for, wow. for male bodies. Um, so there's, it's called the co the coded patriarchy. So we, we got really deep into that kind of stuff and thought, okay, realistically, what can we do? And so we have comfortable seating with, again, women um, and our bodies in, in mind, different um, sizes because everyone, you know, there's not just one type. Um, we have purse six everywhere. We have a mother's room. We've got diapers and toys and all the things if you hmm. need backup childcare help. Um, so all the things that I think that offices uh, tend to lack, we made sure to, to include in our space. 